Okay, we're back. Now that I got all the centers solved, I'm going to show you the next procedure for flipping these center edge cubes. And the procedure is the same um, on all of them. So that's why I have so many different ones here, okay? Um, one of the concepts I learned off the other YouTube channel, uh, the Surds B, which I'll provide a link to in the description, um, goes over this step in depth. And I'll try to do uh, my best of repeating and explaining it. Um, but basically, he shows you on the 4x4x4 four by four by four how you can flip to center uh, edge pieces, you know, and basically he distills it down to every time you make a right side of the cube move, you rotate the top 180 degrees. And then every time you move the left side of the cube, you rotate the face 180 degrees. And so it's kind of go gonna go down like this. You you're gonna go down like this, and then right to the top, 180 degrees, and then you're gonna bring this side down, and rotate the face 180 degrees, and then you're gonna bring this one back up, and then rotate the face 180 degrees, and then you're gonna rotate this piece 180 degrees and move and move the top 180 degrees, and then you're gonna go back up one 180 degrees back down one 180 degrees on the top and then um, I kind of forgotten the next step but um, once you do that and then you'll finish it by rotating the front and then the two and then it'll just do it I'll do it on the four by four just so you can see it Usually I preserve this step for when I solve it, like I do the three by three by, uh, by three Rubik's cube, but I, I just want to demonstrate. So I'm going to remember that the blue is on top and the white's here, but I'm going to demonstrate flipping. You'll see the red and the white on the top be the white and the red where the blue is. So here's, I'm gonna, here it goes. I'm going to do the right. I'm going to rotate the top twice. I'm going to bring this down, rotate the face 180 degrees, bring it back up, rotate the face 180 degrees, rotate this piece down. I got to rotate the top 180 degrees. I bring it back up one 180 degrees. I bring it back down one 180 degrees. And then I do the face 180 degrees, and then I rotate this back 180 degrees. So now I gotta find my where my red and white piece ended up. Yeah, so as you can tell, when I originally started out with this, the the white was up here and the red was here. So again, you know. I can flip that around any way I want because I haven't sold the corners and all that other stuff. But, you know, I don't know that I'll need to do that. But again, I'll, I'll do this procedure again real quick for you. For those of you that didn't, I mean, you can hit rewind or, or go back and look at it again. But it, it, here we go again. I mean, I'm going to re rotate these back around. That goes the right side down 180 degrees. The left side goes down. I'm rotating the face 180 degrees. I'm bringing the left side back up. What do I do? The face 180 degrees. Rotate this half down. Now I'm rotating the top 180 degrees. Bring the right side back up again, 180 degrees. Bring the right side back down again, the top side is 180 degrees. And then to finish this off, I rotate the face and then 180 degrees and then that whole area 180 degrees. Now I show this again. Now it's back where it was when I started this video. So that's how you're going to deal with these odd cubes. It's the same exact procedure for getting that center cube around. Watch this. Here you go. 
again, I'm going to rotate the right side down 180 degrees. I'm going to bring the left side down to face 180 degrees. I'm going to bring it up the left side 180 degrees. Bring this all the way down, the top's going to rotate 180 degrees. I bring it back up one, 180 degrees. I bring it back down one, 180 degrees. And then the last piece is to rotate the face 180 degrees, and then that back 180 degrees. And now, as you can tell, I flipped that center edge. I can't remember which one it was, but now they're all there. Now again, the six by six by six is in the same boat as the four by four by four because I don't know personally just by looking at this when I solve it, which of these edge cubes are in the wrong orientation. So, you know, I'll end up doing that at step towards the end when I, I'm closer to solving the whole cube. You know, for now it looks fine to me. and. You know, I mean, there's a 50-50% chance that you'll get it and you won't have to flip it around. But it's good to know that you can flip it around if you need to flip it around using this procedure. And so now I'm going to do the 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. It's the same procedure. I'm going to bring that down, rotate it 180. I'm going to bring that side down. The face goes 180. Bring that back up. 180. Bring the right side 180 and then rotate it 180 degrees. Bring it back up one, rotate it 180 degrees. Bring it back down one, you rotate it 180 degrees. We finish it off by rotating the face 180 degrees and the whole right side 180 degrees. And there you have it. It's the same exact step for getting that center cube in the proper alignment. Now let's move to the 9 by 9 by 9 It's going to be the same. It's going to be a little bit harder, I think, because it's so much larger. But let me see if I can do this. Right side, 180 degrees. Left side, rotating the face. 180 degrees. Bring the right side back up. The face is turned 180 degrees. Bring the right side down. Rotate the top 180 degrees. Bring the right side up. Rotate it 180 degrees. Bring the right side back down. Rotate it 180 degrees. And then what you're gonna do is rotate the face 180 degrees to finish that off. And then that piece 180 degrees to finish that off. And now you see all the edges on all of these Rubik's cubes here. One of these are not Rubik's brand, but these are Moyu um, brands. And this one is, uh, I don't wanna butcher it. It's a Shen Shao cube. So as you can tell, the procedure worked for flipping that center cube. And so that's it for this video. Now what I'll do in another video is solve these like the three by three Rubik's cube and then show you how to deal with the remaining issues that are there regarding parity errors, you know, flipping the cubes over or, or what have you, or flipping them end for end. That will most definitely probably happen if I need to flip them end for end on the four by four by four or the six by six by six. Because the even cubes, as I stated in another video, have that parity error. Whereas all of them, you have some need to flip the center edge cubes at various times for various reasons. So I'm gonna uh, sign off now and then I'm gonna solve these like a three by three by three.